Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you my uh, 3D printed uh, crypto mining uh, test bench test rig. Uh, I made this probably about uh, six or eight months ago. It's, it's all 3D printed, uh, power supply underneath, but this actually was my original aspiration for actually creating the 100% 3D printed mining rig, which you've seen in my other videos. Um, but actually, I built this so I could test GPUs. Um, you know, just because one of the worst things you can do is throw a unstable GPU into a stable mining rig and have the thing crash all the time, and you're you're not mining coins. So, um, quick look at this thing real quick. I'm just running it's a it's a micro ATX motherboard. I mean, you don't need to actually have a full ATX board. Um, I got this one cheap on eBay for like twenty bucks. I'm currently running an i5 on here, sixteen gig of RAM. This is my little SSD drive adapter thing that actually bolts these little holes down here. Um, I'm actually running an older power supply, 20 pin, 24 pin ATX adapter, 4 pin power. But you can actually put down any any regular standard ATX power supply in there. Um, doesn't really make a difference, but yeah, I mean, you you want to you know I mean since I buy all these, if you watch my channel, I buy a ton of GPUs, um, either offer up or eBay, and like I said, a lot of these things are untested. You don't know what's going on with them. They're just they're used used rigs. I mean. <clears throat> Sometimes I have to like repaste them, put new thermal pads in. I use the mine state pads, but uh, let me show you the software I use to mod the BIOS and and what else I'm doing here. So I'm, this is currently running Windows. Well, if you're wondering what all this stuff is, I'm actually an IT guy, and this is actually where I troubleshoot servers. And I don't really do like personal IT stuff; just really business stuff, servers, web servers, email servers. You know, I build like banks, restaurants, hospitals, data centers. But uh, let me show you like what I got going here. So I have a two I have a VGA cable. So this is my these are my test monitors up here. And so I have a VGA cable. I have a Display Port. And I'm kind of running out of space in my workbench. I got CNC machines, 3D printers. Um, yeah, uh, I clean that off. But yeah, here here we go. Here's the software I use. So um, yeah, so I do like a lot of thorough testing on here. I, I'll do like uh, mining. I'll test a miner, mess with settings. Like I said, I don't really want to experiment on my, my profitable mining rigs. So, um, yeah, I'll do all my BIOS. I mean, I haven't bought an AMD card for a while, but uh, this is actually where I did all my, my BIOS modding. Uh, you know, memory straps for AMD cards. I mean, you don't really BIOS mod NVIDIA cards. I'm sure you can, but I haven't actually heard any good information about it, NVIDIA cards. So, But besides that, I mean, I have GPU-Z on here. Um Yeah, because one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure you want to look at the BIOS, if it's AMD, mod the BIOS. But also, you know, before you put it in the rack, you want to put it through some kind of like a, like Fermark. You want to put it through like a hardcore stress test. You want to check the RAM and make sure your RAM's not going to crash because mining Ethereum is very memory intensive. So if you're going to be mining Ethereum, you should be using GDR6 memory if you can get it. Carbon. GDR6 definitely is better, but yeah, so you can do like a, a GPU stress test. Um, pretty cool tools, you know, you then also you have OCCT, another stress tool. Um, but yeah, because I remember when I first started mining, I had put some unstable cards in my uh, rig and it was just a headache because I kept on rebooting or crashing the miner. But every time I would do that, I, I would crash the whole rack and, you know, I'd probably have three or four GPUs in that rack or that, that mining rig and the whole thing would be going down. So I also run a nice hash on here, the red BIOS editor. More power tools, um, but yeah, this is it. So um, another suggestion is uh, I'd probably get a GPU with an onboard uh, uh, pro or GPU, like like a Core i5 i3. Um, I probably wouldn't go with an i7 unless it has like a built-on uh, GPU, because sometimes you know with these video cards, I mean the HDMI or, or, or uh, Display Ports might not work, so you might not get video out. But this way, you can still boot the build, boot the computer and still test the GPU, even if the display ports don't work. So, but I'll put down link link down below on my Thingiverse page if you have a three D printer and you want to print this out. But um, yeah, I've tested many many GPUs on here, and uh, but yeah, I just liked it because it was like self contained. And um, but let me show you real fast what my crypto mining GPU looks like if you haven't seen it yet. All right, here we are. So 
if you're not familiar with this, uh, I made this a few months ago, but you can see the inspiration how I started off with that other rig and I kind of built up around it. But uh, yeah, all 100% 3D printed. So, all right, guys, cool. This is how I test my GPUs. All right, I actually have some more GPUs coming in. That's actually why I decided to fire that thing back up and get it ready again. Um, yeah, I got some 1660 Supers coming in that are actually known. The guy says they're bad. They, they crash on Windows. So um, this one, as soon as I get in here, I'm going to test them, and I'll go through that, and I'll show you how to do that. But all right, cool.